Hi, this is Eric with Motion Workshop. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a clip of mocap animation that we recorded previously using the Shadow mocap system, importing into the Unity game engine and retargeting that animation clip onto a new game character. So to begin, let's take the animation clip. This is the one that's called Shadow Zombie Walk Animation, FBX file, and we can just drag it into the Unity editor. So you can see here, um, let's look at the animation itself. Yep, it looks like a uh, zombie walk cycle of some kind. So the next thing we want to do is we want its name take 001, which is not very descriptive. Um, we can rename that just by renaming the actual um, FBX file. Here it used to be shadow zombie walk. Let's name it shadow character. And then the at symbol and then the name of the animation clip, which we'll call zombie walk. And so you can see now, um, we name, as we renamed it, this will uh, this specific clip here is named zombie walk for the animation. That's a nice thing to do if you have a bunch of different clips, you can name them all differently and have them applied to the character name, which would be shadow character in this case. Cool, so we've got this character now, and next uh, we want to have the character that we're going to retarget to. So to do that, uh, I actually downloaded this Space Robot Kyle character from the Unity Asset Store. And it's free, it's uh, kind of a neat little guy we can apply some animation to. So uh, Package Manager window, you can go into there, here's the Space Robot Kyle character, just import and then we want all of that so import it that was pretty easy now we've got under the model here you can see robot kyle doesn't have any, any animations which is fine um, so let's go back to our shadow character and under the rig up here you can see that animation type is generic which is we don't want that we want it to be humanoid and um, that will give it an avatar which will allow us to do the retargeting process so avatar definition create from this model, click apply. Once we did that, you can see that the we now have a shadow character avatar. And um, if we want to go and say configure avatar, uh, we can see, make sure that all of the joints and body segments are mapped, which it looks like they are. All of them are green down to the hands and feet. So that's fine. Click on done. So this character is all set up now for retargeting. Uh, next, let's go into the robot Kyle character. You can see here that the animation type is a legacy. Uh, again, change it to humanoid. Avatar definition create from this model and click apply. Now you can see we have the avatar here and we want to now configure that avatar to make sure. And again, it looks like uh, we have all of the body segments are mapped. So we're good to go done. Okay, that was easy. Let's go back to the main asset folder. And uh, here what we want to do is create uh, a new asset. And this is going to be the animation controller. Let's name that to shadow animation controller. Okay, now let's open up that animation controller. So what this animation controller does, uh, or the animator class, is it's going to uh, be able to create, take a, make a state machine where we can drag in any animation clips and apply them to our character or the retargeted character. So we want the zombie walk animation, so we'll just drag that in here. And you can see it's already gone from the state entry to zombie walk. So if we had multiple clips, we could string them together um, but here we only have one clip, so well, let's just add it again, um, and then add a transition, and then add a transition back. Now it's going to just play the clip over and over again, and that's fine for our needs. Cool, so what we want to do next is go into the scene and create an empty game object. Let's just name this Shadow Game character. Okay, so 
<clears throat> to this, we'll add a component, and we want to add the animator component here. This will allow us to apply that um, animation um, controller directly to um, this this character, um, which we're going to add in a second. So the avatar, let's um, apply this to shadow avatar. And uh, to this, we're going to add our shadow character just so we can see what the animation looks like in the scene. So there we have our little friends. Let's uh, zero this out to the origin. Cool. So now we have it's all set up. Um, <clears throat> we need to apply the animation controller to the actual character as well. Uh, so add that, and now we should be able to hit play and see what the animation looks like. All right, so that's the zombie animation with just our default mesh. So now we want to do the same thing and apply it to retarget to the robot Kyle. So let's just repeat what we did, create a new empty game object. This time let's name it robot game character. And the same as before, zero it out and add a component, animator component, shadow animation controller, and then apply the avatar to the Kyle avatar character. Now we want to actually add the model for the Kyle avatar. And last thing we have to do here is change the animation controller to the shadow one, which has the zombie animation. Now, just so they're not going to be perfectly overlapping, well, let's just play it and see what it looks like. Um, this should, so you can see it's, we have both the meshes now, but they're directly on top of each other, so it's hard to see what's going on. Let's just offset him back a little bit to the side. And you can look on the camera and see what it might look like here. It looks fine. Try playing again. Great, so it looks like now we've retargeted that animation from the mocap clip onto our robot Kyle character. Uh, this will work well with any kind of uh, model asset that you can download from the Unity Asset Store. There are many that are free and some that are paid, but it works for quite well as a process for creating in-game animation clips. All right, thanks for watching.